They should as people called upon, called to live like brothers and sisters, foster harmonious coexistence among people of diverse ethnic backgrounds in Kenya and be at the forefront of a campaign to break the jinx of negative ethnicity that stalks our nation. As scouts and guides, it is also our duty to do good service to ourselves and to others. Remember, as the Chief Scout has reminded us, the Honorable Francis Olekaparo, that friendship is a core value. Say yes to friendship. Yeah. Do I hear yes? yes. Say yes. yes. Yes to friendship. Yes. Say no. no. No to negative ethnicity. If you consider that we are, in addition to being friends, one of the basic principles again is a scout or indeed a guide is a brother to every other scout and to every other guide. Where does that leave room for disagreement, for quarreling? Therefore, I want to announce here that Kenyans look out for scouts in the next general election. If you elect to scouts to parliament, there'll be no quarreling. Uh, we, want to give, we want to give this opportunity to current legislators as well to look at this challenge of scouting where, and people wonder, why is it the vice president never abuses anybody? How can I abuse a friend? How can I abuse a brother? It is out of question. Therefore, if we upheld these values, values of uh, brotherhood and values of friendship, Mr. Speaker, the Honorable Florence Ole Caparo, because once a speaker, I think always a speaker. I think you do not need to worry about order. This country is going to be orderly, and I therefore suggest that, like I was so privileged, when I led our delegation uh, to the World uh, Parliament Parliamentary Association's uh, conference in Seoul, and one of us, the Honorable Eugene Wamalwa, was actually elected the treasurer of that world body. That is the way to go. Human failure shows up when human beings lose their self-esteem. I urge all young people to know that they are wonderfully and beautifully created and that you young men and women in front of me this particular hour, this moment, can indeed achieve anything you focus on, provided that you are diligent and that you also believe in yourself, in your capacity. Friends, the challenges facing the youth today I diverse and complex uh, from unemployment, poverty, hopelessness, stress, corruption, drug and substance abuse to diseases, both curable and incurable. Young people are at, at, at a much greater risk today than ever before. Say no to drug abuse, no to drug abuse, no to substance abuse, say no to stress. Say no to corruption. No. Say no to hopelessness. No. Say no to poverty. No. Say no poverty to unemployment. Yet if you observe the scout law and heed, to the, uh, heed the founder's last message that implores us to first be content with what we have, keep ourselves healthy. Many of you here today are my sons and daughters. Most of you are in the school system and have severally been urged to take up your studies seriously. May I reiterate that no inheritance will ever surpass or replace the worth of education, especially for young people. I'm glad that the government has done a lot to give free primary education and subsidized secondary education. Yours is to reciprocate these efforts by studying hard, using your time well, and making sure you avoid reckless engagements and harmful behavior. Remember, we have talked about Vision 2030, which envisions Kenya as a medium industrialized country in just under 20 years from now. For Vision 2030 to thrive, you will need to acquire skills that will make the vision's ideals come true. I therefore urge you to remain focused and steadfast in seeking knowledge and skills. 